So do you need to be good with data structures and algorithms in order to land your first data science job? This is the most common question among people who are preparing for data science and there is a huge confusion that is it even possible to become a data scientist by ignoring the essay? In this video, I will try to answer this question from my perspective so that I can provide you some clarity. And in case you are new to the channel, then please consider subscribing. On this channel, I keep on uploading this kind of helpful videos to provide guidance to you. So without any further delay, let's get started. Okay, so let's start by understanding first that why this question is so big and why the confusion with a DSA for data science is bothering so many people. It is because the entire curriculum of data science or the entire roadmap of data science itself is so vast that it might take up to 6 to 12 months for an individual to complete the preparation as much as it is required to land a job. On the other hand, if you will pay attention for the preparation that is required for DSA, that also is equally vast. Which means if you are someone who might take up to 12 months in order to get prepared for data science, then you will again need 12 months to get strong and prepared for DSA. Especially I'm talking about in case you do not have a programming background. Obviously, if you had a programming background and if you have done programming back in school or college, the duration required for DSA preparation will be shorter for you. And this is why this particular question of the need of DSA for data science mostly bothers people who are coming from a non-tech background, who did not have a programming background back in their college or school time. And this is the reason that why most of the people are getting confused or worried about that do they even need to prepare for DSA? Because if you're someone who is aiming to land a data science job within next six months and you are preparing accordingly and suddenly you're being told that you also need to prepare for DSA in order to land that job, which will again require next three to six months, this will definitely make you worried. So I hope that it is now making some sense to you that why this question is so important. So if I will have to give a straightforward answer, then I would say yes, it is possible to land a data science job that also without having a very strong preparation with DSA. And I'm saying this thing with experience because I have also done the same three years back. At that time, I did not have a very strong preparation with DSA. However, my command on the core data science skills was good enough. And if you also fall within the same phase where your command with the core data science skills is good enough and you are able to solve problems with a programming language like Python, then obviously you can land a job and you can become a data scientist. Please pay attention that I am not ignoring the need of Python or a programming language. All I am saying is that if you have a basic command on a programming language, so good that you are able to do projects or solve a problem with the help of your knowledge, then even if you do not have a preparation with DSA on a competitive level, you can still make it and become a data scientist. And in the rest of the video, we are going to talk around which are the companies who primarily pay attention on DSA and which are the companies who can hire you even without DSA if you are good at analytical skills. And accordingly, what should be your mindset to have a strategy? So most of the product-based companies will primarily focus on your DSA skills like Google, Netflix, Amazon or Facebook. It is because over there you will be mostly working, creating or modifying a product where you will try to implement some machine learning or data science features. So over there it is important that your work should be robust or scalable in such a way that the user experience should not be hampered. Because with these product based companies, the user experience is the thing which is creating the brand for them. And this is why over there it becomes really important that you should not be good only with your core data science skills. However, along with that, you should also have the ability to optimize your code by implementing your DSA skills. On the other hand, most of the service based companies or the banking companies that you can see listed on your screen will primarily focus on your analytical skills and domain knowledge. So I'm not saying that these companies will not conduct a programming test. In fact, I have recently uploaded a video where I have shared my interview experience with Cognizant where I was able to crack a data science job role. And over there as well, I had to attempt a coding test. So even if you're someone who is good with Python basics and you have decent understanding on data structures like list, tuples, dictionary or set, then you can easily crack these coding tests conducted by the service based companies and you can easily crack the job as well. Because these companies are not primarily creating any product. So their core focus will be on how efficiently and quickly you are solving the business problems 
using your data science skills. And now since you have some perspective that which kind of companies mainly focus on DSA and which are the companies who focuses more on your data science skills, now it becomes easier for you to set a goal and have an understanding around this question that we are discussing today. And from this point of time, how much importance you need to pay towards DSA, it completely depends on your goal. So do you have a goal just to acquire a data science job in order to step into the analytics field? Or you have a goal working with a brand company or product based companies like Google, Facebook, Ola or Uber. And depending on your individual goal, you need to understand that how much importance you need to pay towards your DSA preparation. So in case you are someone who is aiming forward to work with a brand company like Google, Facebook or Amazon or a top product based company. In that case, I would suggest you that you incorporate your DSA practice along with your data science preparation. So in case you are studying four hours every day to prepare for data science, dedicate one hour separately for DSA and try to solve at least three problems every day. On the other hand, if your aim is just to grab a job within the analytics field and become a data scientist, in that case, holding a grip on the Python programming language, focus mainly on your core data science skills like machine learning, deep learning, SQL, statistics, and it is not necessarily important to get involved in competitive DSA preparation. But keep in mind that your grip on Python or any other programming language of your choice should be good enough to justify your competency. And additionally, I would suggest that as soon as you land the job, it is a time that now you start shifting your focus towards the DSA preparation as well. Because before acquiring the job, it is fine if you are studying 4 hours or 6 hours every day to learn data science skills. But after getting the job, even if you are studying 1 hour or 2 hours every day, that is good enough. And rest of the time that you will get, you can utilize that in order to become good at DSA. So that was it for today's video. I hope that I was able to provide you some clarity around how important it is to prepare for DSA when you are chasing for a data science job and what kind of approach you should have towards it. It completely depends on what goal you have. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you are new here. I am continuously bringing this kind of content to help you out with your queries like this one. And also do not forget to drop a like below. This will help my video to get a better reach in order to grow the channel. So that was it. Thank you very much for watching till the end. You have a nice day ahead.